Well, did you like your birthday dinner? Yeah, it was... Dang, they closed that door. <laughs> but yeah, did you like it? Yeah, it was... It was nice. <sighs> I'm just a little sad. What, do you want to talk? Yeah, come on. Oh, okay. <gasps> hey. What up, Buttercup? Nothing much. Just think about you. <laughs> yeah. You doing that on purpose? Yep, I sure am. I love you. What? I love you. Okay. See you later. Uh. Okay. Hey, bro. Hey, um, I just told Iphigenia that I loved her. Did she say that? No. I'm sorry, dude. <sighs> Sometime it'd be like that. You think it was too soon? I don't know, maybe. I mean, how long have y'all been dating? I mean, it's just now, like, what's today? Today's the 10th. Oh, uh, yeah. Haven't y'all been... When did y'all start dating? Like, New Year's Eve or something? Yeah. <sighs> About that. Pretty sure it was that day. I don't know. <sighs> well, she'll say it back. Eventually. If you don't mess it up. Thanks for that. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, whatever. <sighs> hey, Elliot. <sighs> I've given you three days. No. Four, almost four. About five days. Almost five days. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> you need to tell me soon. Okay, I I'll tell you soon. I'll... Have my ma mind made up soon, okay? Okay. Because if you haven't told me that you want to stay together or not by 10 o'clock tonight, and I just checked the clock in the kitchen, and right now it's 8.14, we're over. Okay? Okay. I hope that's not the last time that we kiss. <sighs> so, what's up? Well, um... I was just... I was sad that my... My parents never came. Hey, I, I'm here, okay? And we're all here for you, okay? Yeah, I know. How is the sun still up? I mean, it's 814. <sighs> you know, this weather and shit. <laughs> It'd be crazy. I know. <sighs> You've never talked about your family much. I guess not. I haven't really thought about it. I mean, I know that you have with your father and your siblings that you didn't even know about and Vincent and your mom. Yeah. So what, what about yours? Tell me. We've been together for a while now. We've known each other forever. Well. You know, whenever I came to school to, you know, where we were going. Well, um, I had just moved, you know, from Michigan. And, um... My family, they were always, you know, away. You know, whenever I moved in, we, me and my mom and dad and my sister moved into that apartment. And, um, they were always away. And so I was always taking care of my sister. How old is your sister now? Now, she is 23. Wow. Yeah, she's doing okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. I don't think that she would come to see me. 
Maybe she's got stuff to do. Maybe. Or she can't. I'll have to talk to her later. We haven't talked to them in a while, though. But, yeah. Well, I just want you to, to know that we are here. And we love you. Well, it's been a pretty good birthday. I'm glad. Come on. Okay. Hey. Hey. I love you. I love you too. Mm. Um, I was about to go to shopping. Oh, well, have fun. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <sighs> hey, Arthur. Oh, um, Conrad, hi. Um, so I, I heard from Sherwin that you don't have many friends, and I just wanted to know if, if you would ever want to hang out, you know, you could hang out with me. Cool. Yeah, I was about to go and, um, eat some popcorn, you know, watch some TV. You want to go? Do I want to go watch, do I want to go, do I want to go and eat popcorn and watch TV with you? Yeah. Sure. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, grr. Hey. Um, have you seen Wallace? Honestly, no. I haven't seen him in a little while. Hmm. I'll ask if he... Okay. Mm, mm. You know it's Sherwin's birthday, right? Hmm. I did not. Huh. Must have slipped my mind. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay. Bye. Actually, on second. Actually, on second thought, I would like some lemonade. Oh, hey, Iffy. Eh, yeah. Damn, you're always in my damn face. Hey. Um, how are you? I'm freaking out here. Why? Because Earl said that he loved me. Tommy! <sighs> well, do you love him? I don't know. And plus, what if he cheats on me or does something like he did? Or like messes it up like he did with Jessica and Valentine? He didn't cheat on either of them. Yeah, but what if he does Hill? Like, it's a possibility. <sighs> I don't know. Do you know where Wallace is? I haven't seen him around. He told me that he had gone to um, Wisconsin to see his Aunt Patricia. She has... I, don't, I can't remember what she has, but yeah. He wants to go there. Oh, okay. He's been gone for a little while, don't you think? I don't know, maybe it's something serious. Oh, okay. <sighs> hey. Hey. Um, how are you? I'm, I'm fine. Dang, your, your voice has changed. Oh, it does that sometimes, you know. It goes through the roof and sometimes down in the ground. Oh. Well, you maybe want to go um, get some ice cream or something from the ice cream shop or something? Sure. Okay, well... I'll go get ready. Hey, um, I just saw Madeline walking away. You okay? I don't know how much longer I can take this, Harry. God, he told me to just try to get along with it and try to get... Try to find things to like it, but I don't see what to like anymore, honestly. Oh. Maybe I should go to couples therapy or something. Well, I'll take a few more days, I guess, but... After that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, mm, Nadine can probably help. Oh, isn't she the, um, the therapist? Yeah, she helped, um, yeah, she helped Tessa and Sherwin, and she helped, who else did she help? Did she even help Tessa? I can't remember. But I know that she helped Sherwin, and she helped, um, 
Charlotte. Oh, okay. Bye. Oh, wait, I forgot to ask you. What? How's Rusty? I don't know. He hasn't. He hasn't, um, been home for a little while. For about a week, actually. Well, I'm sure he's doing fine. Have you talked to him? No, I've called, but he hasn't picked up any of my texts. Okay. I mean, my calls. I got the drift. <laughs> okay. Hoodle hoodle. Hey. Hey, um, I've got a problem. What? So, a few days ago, you know, um, Elliot asked me... So, I told... I told Elliot that I was going out with, um, you and Alice and Tabby and... I think I told him I was going with Tabby. I don't know. And Tessa. But, um, he saw Alice not that long after that, and he figured out that I was lying, and he asked me, and I said, because I didn't know if I still liked him like that, and if I still wanted to date him, and he said, well, you need to figure it out, and I was like, okay, so I am trying to figure it out, and he said that I have until 10 o'clock tonight to figure it out, and it is already 8.44. Well, you better get thinking, girl. What do you think I should do? What would you do? I would really think if he makes me happy. If like, if it was me, then I would be like, well, does he make me happy? And if he did, then yes, I would stay with him. If he made me feel good, if he was good to me, and if he made me happy. Okay? Yeah? And if you didn't, if, like, he wasn't good to me, and it, or if, like, I he didn't make me happy, then I'll leave him. Or break up with him or whatever. Well, he doesn't really make me happy. Well, then break up with him. I don't want to break his heart. Girl, you got to do it. Don't just waste your life on someone that you don't even want to be with, okay? Okay. So much drama going on lately, honestly. Oh! You just kicked me. Sorry, you know I got long legs, I gotta sit down. Mm. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? We love Rasputia. We so do. Come on, let's go watch more of it. Uh, okay. Hey, Vi hey, Victor? Yeah? Go get me uh, some popcorn. Ugh. Fine. Gosh dang it. Yeah. Hey, um, hi, I gotta go get some popcorn for me and Charlotte. We're gonna go watch, um, um, Norbit. Ow. Well, um, okay. Wait, what do you got? What do you need to talk about? Come on, I'm here. I've just been a little lonely lately. But you're fine. Um, okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm late, Phyllis. I've been calling you for the past hour, Rusty. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, my damn phone broke, okay? So please don't take it out of me. Just come on, Mr. Freeman wants to talk to you. Okay. Good, you're here. Um, yes, I'm here, Mr. Freeman. What took you so long? I broke my phone, and it's just been really tough lately. You know, I have a boyfriend, and I've been... Washington, and I haven't been able to see him in a while, and I'm worried about him and what he's thinking about all this. Well, you gotta keep waiting, because you've got work to do. Come on. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, happy birthday, Sherwin. Um, thanks. So, how's your birthday been? It's been okay. Hmm. Well, um, where's Tessa? Oh, she's coming. <sighs> okay, well, I need to talk to her. Okay. So much going on. Hey, would you? Sherwin told me that you need to talk. What's going on? I haven't told anybody this yet, but Charlotte. But um, I want to. I kind of want to break up with Elliot. Why? Because I don't really like him like I used to. I like him more. I think I'd like him more as a friend. 
Well, that's okay. And I don't want to break his heart. And I just, I feel like I'll feel like a bad person. I mean, I already feel like a bad person. I already freaking cheated on my husband. I feel like an awful person, Tessa. Well, you're not. You're far from it. No, thanks. And if you don't want to be with him, then yes, break up with him. Yeah, Charlotte said to not waste my life with someone that I don't like like that. Well, she's exactly right. <sighs> don't do that to yourself, okay? Okay. It's not you being an awful person, because it's not. It's the complete opposite. It's better to have broken up with someone that you truly do not like like that anymore than to stay with them. Okay? Yeah. Thanks, Tessa. Yeah. So what's going on with you and, and Sherwin? Well, he is sad about his nobody coming for his birthday. He never really talked about his family. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. He thought that his parents might come, or maybe a sister. He has a sister? Yeah. Her name's Elodie. What? <laughs> Ugh, sorry, my tongue. Elodie. Her name's Elodie. It'd be cool to meet her. Yeah, I haven't met her before. Really? When did you and Sherwin even start dating? We started dating when we were in the 8th grade, I think. Yeah. I think. He came in the 7th grade. Um, he came from Michigan. Um, with his, um, his father and his mother and Elodie. Um, they're a few years apart right now. Elodie is 23. Yeah, and today Sherwin's 27. Yeah. And, um, he, his fam his parents were never, barely around, and he always had to take care of Elodie. Well, yeah, I'd think so. I'd, I'd think that she would be here. Ugh, it's whatever. But, yeah, Elliot said that if I, I need to tell him if I like him, if I want to be with him or not, by 10 o'clock. Well, I just saw the, the clock in the hall, and it said that it was now 9.38, so you don't have a lot of time. I know. Well, tell him how you feel, okay? Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. <sighs> oh, hey, Samson. Hey, Charlotte. Um, you know I'm proud of you. What? I'm proud of you. <sighs> Look, um, um, about a, almost a month ago, you were really depressed because of Kit and you were really scaring me, and I'm just glad that you're better now. Well, I am too. Thanks. Yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, hey. I just saw this cool movie with that new guy, Arthur. Oh, cool. What's wrong? You know, I really hate to be sad on Sherwin's birthday. What's wrong? I just... I feel alone. It's been different since, um... Since the whole thing with, um... Since, you know, we moved from Seattle to Tacoma. And, um... I don't know. I just feel left out most of the time, and... Feels like I barely can talk to anyone. Well, I'm here if you want to talk to me. Thanks, comrade. But yeah, I just feel alone ever since, especially ever since Iris left. Well, you want to talk about it? Yeah, sure. <sighs> hey, we should talk. Yeah. Look, I know that you said that you love me, and I'm going to try to. Well, I don't want you to love me unless you actually do. But, um, 
Okay, but, um... I've been through a lot through my life. So have I. I once loved a man that didn't love me. I've once loved a man that did love me. And treated me like shit. He was an asshole. I'm sorry. But you're different, and I know that. But, um... Keep in mind, you were a pretty shitty husband, apparently, to your wife, your ex-wife, and you kind of screwed up with Jessica. Iphigenia, I've changed, and I want you to, do, to know that, but if you don't believe that, that's okay. And I love you, okay? And I promise I will never hurt you I will never cheat on you, and I will try my goddamn best to not screw up this relationship. Come on. <sighs> hey. Hey. I called Elodie. What'd she say? She said that she, um... That she was, um, in, um, Montana right now? Oh, really? Yeah. But, um, her flight got canceled because there was a storm. I'm sorry. Yeah. And what about your parents? I called them. Okay. They didn't pick up. I'm sorry. At least you're here. Well, what do you want to do? It's your birthday. So got a little while left. I went to go and watch some TV in my bed with you and eat some goldfish <laughs> and some frosted flakes <laughs> and some Snickers. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <sighs> oh. All right, Valentine. It's 10. So, do you still want to be with me or not? Well, it's not 10, but, like, it's almost 10. I know, I just saw the clock. It's 9.49. <sighs> Elliot, you are an amazing, wonderful man. Camel, dude, whatever. <sighs> and I want to know you. But I don't want to be your girlfriend. I want to be your friend. I'm sorry, but I just don't like you like that anymore. I used to, I admit that. <sighs> I guess my feelings aren't like that anymore. For you. And I'm so sorry. 